means it's just trying to cover all the cracks up. To make Windsor look something it isn't. Good evening, sir. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Good miss. Uh, my mum got put into a home. Yeah, she's now getting to see back in shared accommodation where she gets taken care of. And the council house is a three bedroom house, so I weren't able to keep it. What happened? Uh, so I end up becoming homeless. That's all that uh, available possessions in the trolley. Does it, does it ever get robbed? Yes, we've had a few things that stolen before. There was a couple of copies that were bought off a tent uh, for as a, a Christmas present, and they ended up getting stolen. That's why I like. To, that's why I always put my trolley there when I'm sitting here. I'm not too far from it. You keep an eye on it. Yeah. My God! Do you remember? Phil talking to a guy outside Zizi's. He was like. He was, no, it wasn't from talking to him, it was like this guy from another guy. Like, the guy was like offering the uh, homeless guy money and the guy was like, what are you going to spend it on? He was like, crack. <laughs> yeah, and the guy was like, yes. and the guy was, I'm not giving you money to crack. Yeah, like, oh, that's I good. Really crack. I don't know, maybe, maybe I could be wrong, yeah? But you know what, mostly, mostly I find people that give, that kind of donate us money or, or kind of help us, yeah, are, are not really people that, have, that are these, you know, these so-called rich people or whatever. You know, maybe once in a blue moon they might. Most of the people that kind of help us are all like, you know, they've either got problems of their own or they're on, you know, like one of the people that got like a one check away from being the same situation as us. Do you know what I mean? People that ain't got nothing, they're the kind of people that really help us. Do you know what I think is really sad? You're very welcome to <laughs> put it on your, t your paper. It's the fact that, right, that, um, uh, there's a lot of, lot of tramps in this area, and um, I've had a few beers, and I see what's going on in Windsor, and I, and and these guys at the tramps, they're going around the back of my shop. What, 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 what do you think of these guys f***ing over our floors in Windsor? You don't know that. What are you talking about? Can't kind of get used to it, it. <laughs> but he's kind of taken it out of on one instant. On, on the, on um, kind of putting everyone in the same category. What's this place like to see? Uh, it's quite quiet. After a certain time. Yeah. So, is it peaceful? Do you get some rest? Yeah, you do get some rest here. How are you feeling now? Uh, I'm not feeling too bad. What's the thing that most surprised you when you ended up on the, the street, or what, what did you find the hardest, I suppose? The hardest was trying, I was, was trying to find somewhere to sleep. My first couple of days when I first came home, I ended up, ended up sleeping in the bush. And what do you miss? I actually miss the roast dinner. Having a nice hot roast dinner. I don't miss TV, anything like that. I haven't got a phone. So, it's been, yeah. Something silly. Some days you do go hungry. Uh, some days you eat, some days you won't. But you learn to survive. Can you tell me what happened to you? Um, oh, it's just alcohol. You know, it's always it's always been a problem with me since since I was a kid. And uh, uh, it, 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 it's like a ghost or something, I don't know what it was, it's just something, it, it just don't, it, it, won't, it won't leave me alone. You know, you, you could have everything going in your favour and you're still 
end up messing it up over, 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 yeah, over a drink. I've given up the drinking you know, where I couldn't do that on the streets. That was literally next to. And I was drinking, well, when I was out there, I was drinking very heavy, just to block out everything, like the noise, the, it helped, helped me to sleep at night as well. Uh, yeah, it's like three bottles of whiskey a day, if I recall. This is <laughs> pretty heavy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on the up. I'm on the up. I know maybe it doesn't look like it, but yeah, I'm feeling better. <laughs> We're out of money. I thought oh, I can't do without a drink. Even even everybody says it's not advisable. You just cut it out straight away. It's, it's too 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 steep, yeah. too too heavy. It's too dangerous. So I'm sort of weaning myself uh, on and off, uh, on and off, yeah. um, uh, uh, with, with, with it. But yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna get it this time. A lot of the problem is people who've been on the streets so long and then they go from how they've lived, how they've adapted to their life. Once they go through four walls, most of their problem is bills coming for them. They got responsibilities, whereas out on the street, you really haven't got no responsibilities. I'm looking forward to the, uh, the royal wedding. We're one of the last countries that still got a royal family. Uh, and, uh, God bless them. Yeah, it's what makes this country good. Sometimes you, you ponder on the past isn't it? and how things used to be good on that, and you look forward to maybe one day it being good again. But when you don't really have no options and that, it, and them kind of things are just like, um, oh, just a dream. What can I say, like, um, I can't really, at this moment in time, can't really see uh, a, a, way, a way out. I don't know, maybe I don't know, tomorrow there could be a different day. I, I don't know. This is, come down, this is some music. We don't really get this to the music often. All the, everyone's like, I've always got a smile on my face. Yeah. yeah. I've always got to try to keep myself happy. To keep my spirits up, best way to do it.